Welcome beautiful people. Today we're going to be making Tom Brown. So I'm going to be introducing each and every ingredient we're going to use for this recipe. So come on, let's get into it. Here we first of all have our soya beans, which we're going to be using. Our wheat, some millets. We're also going to be using some lentils and almond nuts you can use ground nuts if you do not have almond nuts then we're going to be using some dates for sweetness alongside some corn some white rice we're using basmati rice for this and some guinea corn so these are all the ingredients that we're going to use for this recipe okay so we're going to first of all start by picking out unwanted elements or unwanted things from our soya beans like stones and insects and whatever it may be okay we need to take it out so that we don't grind stones when making our tom brown see what we got from it stones so now it's been freshly picked and ready to be washed next up we're going to do the exact same thing for our guinea corn we're going to take out what we don't need from it. We're going to do the same thing also for our millets. Each and every grain, make sure you remove anything that is not meant to be there. So here we have our wheat. We're going to be taking out the bad things from it. The bad wheat, um, maybe stones and any other thing that we don't want like these guys. So we have to take out the insects also. Here we have our corn. We're going to take out whatever it is we do not need from the corn and um, take out whatever it is. We have our dates. These dates have already been washed, dried, and deseeded. Okay. Next up, we are going to turn our soybeans into a clean bowl and then put in some hot water into that bowl. We're going to soak this up at least for 20 to 30 minutes once we are done soaking it up it is going to be soft enough for us to wash and wash it like i see we're making moi moi so we're going to wash it to that extent it just gives the tom brown a smooth and sweet feel to it up next is our guinea corn we are going to turn that into a bowl and wash thoroughly until clean it's very important we wash these grains please don't skip this washing aspect i know it could be daunting so we have our wheat we're going to wash all of these and take out the insects wash them clean until clean <laughs> we're going to do the same thing for the corn we're going to wash each and every grain wash it wash it two times three times four times now for the rice if you're making it for babies make sure you wash it properly because they are highly arsenic in nature we're going to also be washing our lentils with some water and ensure that everything is clean and nice for us to enjoy once done washing we need to transfer this into a dehydrator so you could either air dry it or put it up in the oven but for this we're going to be dehydrating each and every one we're going to put them into the dehydrator and ensure that it is well dehydrated so when air drying or dehydrating it we need to make sure that it is really really absolutely dry so that our tom brown can last for a very very long time so once totally dry in a frying pan or a wok pan we're going to turn in our grains and dry toast so we're toasting up the guinea corn right now next stop is our millets we are going to dry toast it and ensure that it is really toasted now we're going to be toasting our wheat we have to make sure that it is toasted, like dry, brown, not burnt, just brown enough like the rice. 
So if you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Please don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button to join the family and get more and more lovely recipes for your babies, okay? We are almost done toasting all of our ingredients. This is the lentils. Once we are done toasting each and every one of the ingredients that we're going to use, we're going to be turning it into a bowl. CM, if you are looking for a meal that is packed with all the necessary nutrients, I always recommend Tom Brown, especially for weaning babies, babies that are just trying to start solids. This is so amazing for your toddlers, even for adults, and it is a weight gain booster. I can testify to that. So now that we're done turning everything into a bowl, we're going to be putting that into a blender and blend until smooth into a smooth powder okay this is us just transferring it into the bowl so if you really want a very very smooth consistency just in case your blender doesn't blend it the way you want all you need to do is sieve it okay here we are trying to transfer it into our storage can you need to use an airtight container yeah you need to use an airtight container so that it can last longer do you know that this tom brown can last up to four to six months i mean you can travel with it you can use it for everything so right now in a bowl we're going to be putting in some tom brown that we just made we're going to add some water and mix this mixing, you need to make sure that you are mixing it until smooth, like a paste like that. Make sure it is lump free. So in the pot, we're going to turn in some water and allow to boil. Once boiled, we're going to turn in our mixture and stir. The secret to this is to keep stirring. It will thicken up just like this. Now that it is being thickened up, we are going to keep stirring and then it is ready. Voila! <laughs> this is our Tom Brown. We're going to be adding some milk to it for our baby. And our Tom Brown cereal is ready. I always recommend that you have this in your house. It can be locally sourced and it is affordable too. And nutritious and you know what is going into your baby's body so i recommend that you try this recipe once you try please let me know how it goes see you next time